everyone! This is Drunk Monkeys! Hi! Hi! How's it going? Good, how are you? Great! What do we have? Uh, so, uh, so we have Cardamaro, mm. um, which is, uh, it says uh, on the back here, it's a wine-based Amaro of Cardoon and Blessed Thistle. Um, and uh, the offstage presence and uh, myself, Dave, we went to a tasting at Fine Wine Brokers in Lincoln Square, and they had this on there. They have sort of a bitters table that has a whole variety of things, and Ooh. so we tasted a couple of them. And this one was a really, it was really just interesting. Yeah. So we thought so we'd this, bring it in. This is a bitters. Kind of. It's actually more like an after dinner. It's a digest, digest, digestif. So, um, is so that what yeah. an Amaro is? As a digestif type thing? Uh, yes. It helps to it helps with digestion, I believe. I believe. Mm. Makes you feel less full. Okay. After you've eaten 18 meatballs. How many meatballs <laughs> have you eaten tonight? I've eaten none, none meatballs. None meatballs. None meatballs. <laughs> Zero meatballs. So you're ready. I'm ready to have this and like have my stomach feel like I haven't eaten anything. I did have some really lovely shrimp and grits earlier. Anyway. Delish. Um, so... <laughs> So, um, uh, this is, uh, this is pretty ancient. It says on the back of the bottle that it was enjoyed by, uh, Pliny, uh, Theophrastus and Charlemagne among those who praised its qualities. And today it remains popular in the Piedmontese regional cuisine. So Charlemagne, we learned about in school. I don't remember anything about him, but I know that name. Very little. Uh, and we also, uh, uh, Pliny is how we know about volcanoes. Oh. Pliny the Elder, not Pliny the Younger, by the way. What did Pliny the Younger do I for us? I have no idea. Jack. <laughs> no, I didn't know anything. So this is like so, essentially an herbal liqueur. Yes. Okay. So it is herbal and uh, it's very, uh, well, let's let's give it an open. Yeah. And see what happens. You want to open it? Do you yeah. Need, do you need I a special knife? A little knife thing. I think there's some perforation though, right? It was, oh, there is. But we can use a special. Oh, look at that. Wait, oh. look. I have... I have, uh, some people have a Coke nail. I have a wine thumb. <laughs> oh, 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 it's oh, not, it's not, oh, I need the, oh, this knife is terrifying. I need the implement. Oh. Be careful. <laughs> We've been drinking. <laughs> um, oh, look at that. Does it have a cork? You can um, just pop it, like, you can just pop it out. Oh, oh, look, oh at that. look at that. Look at that. Let's put this. Oh, that's so satisfying oh, sounding. Just over here. Just a little over there in case Ooh. one of us gets stabby. All right. All right. Vino, what does it say on the front? Vino Aromazito Amaro El Cardo, El Cardo e Carcio. Where is this from? Italy? What country? Italy. It's a product of Italy. And um, uh, it says on the back, uh, the flavor is a wine-based Amaro, a predecessor to the now more common styles of Amari, and a format particularly well suited to the unique flavor attributes at hand. Mm. Amari. All right. So. Uh -oh. oh my. I know. Do, 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 do. It's a nice brown color. It is very nice. Brown. These are very generous pours. Oh, should I? No, it's great because we've eaten a lot of fake meatballs. And, um, it's a nice after dinner. Is it like Underberg? Uh, do you about Underberg? What is that? It's another, like, digestive, but it comes in a tiny bottle and you're supposed to, like, do a shot of it. Um, oh. After a meal to make you feel bright and alert. Oh. Maybe we should. Maybe we'll stay tuned. Sometimes stay tuned. Uh, maybe you're doing it in Chicago. Um, this is a special um, Evil Eye shot glass from Istanbul, because Fuzzy was recently in Istanbul. Um, I'm going to have, uh, sometimes yoga just isn't enough, and you've okay. got on this press the Boulevard. All right. All right. So you give it a sniff. Mm-hmm. Mm. It smells like um, science class, chemistry. Yeah. It's got sort of a bright um, chemical, yeah. but not like, the, not like bleach. Like a sweet or anything. Like sweet wine. Mm hmm Like a sweet wine, like a vermouth kind of smell. Yes. Yeah. And I think this is also sort of akin to vermouth. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's delicious. 
Yeah. Um, it's, it's got some of that bitter type. Am I am I right in saying that? It's got kind of a bitter, but it's very herbal tasting. It's very yeah. It's um, it's way sweeter than like say. It's easier to drink and it's thinner than like a Jägermeister. Mm -hmm. Um, it's uh, it's good. What's it? It's like I can't describe it of anything. Um, it's like port, and um, it had a baby with some bitters. It's like uh, if you were to. Just if you're making like mulled wine or spiced cider with like cloves and um, those things, and you just did it with hot water, mm -hmm. that's what it's like. Just like herb, clovey, cinnamony, yeah, easy to drink, really delicious. Good for holiday, stuff, yeah. I would say good for like you know the holidays are coming up. Car tomorrow makes me want to eat eighteen meatballs, so you can drink it just to give me an excuse right. to drink it. What do you guys think? Yeah, thumbs up all around. It's good stuff. So I would, I've never seen it out before, so I wouldn't know to um, get it. But now, car tomorrow, that's some good sipping. Yeah, it is very good. It's, it's Yeah, I would have this easily after dinner without any sort of mix to it at all. It's really easy to drink. I killed mine. And, oh, yeah. Nice. Thanks for bringing it to the show. I like okay. it. You're welcome. Thank you for having it. Car tomorrow. <laughs> nice work. Ply the the elder. Yeah. Our alumni. Our this volcano.